YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of SB Toys. It's your boy SB here. Got another exciting video for you today. Sorry if I sound a little uh, congested or whatever. I guess, you know, shouldn't be sleeping with the fan hitting directly in my face. But that's how it goes down here in High Atlanta, especially late at night. I like to sleep in a comfortable condition. Don't want to be all burnt up and stuff. So, yeah, that's that. But anyway... Uh, thanks for tuning in to the channel. Got another exciting toy review for you. I've been needing to get to this for a minute. Some of you may have seen the Scorpion review of the Scorpion action figure by Storm Collectibles. Well, I finally gotten the chance to get to reviewing the Sub-Zero action figure by Storm Collectibles. So we're going to be doing this review here on this Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Scorpion action figure. Uh, excuse me, Sub-Zero action figure. Got a little tongue tied there. But uh, anyway, with that being said, you see him spinning around in the package right now. He has his complete enclosed package. You can see the pictures on the side here of the character. Then you see him up front in the case with all his many accessories. And then you can keep spinning around, you know, his bio on the back and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get him out the box because we got our hands full with this figure today. I got Sub Zero pulled here out the box. Man, yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, definitely, uh, first of all, let's go over the figures. Definitely a nice, solid figure here. Uh, material, very durable. They use this very soft uh, rubber. Well, it's a little hard plastic on some areas. A lot of it has got this little soft rubber material feel to it, especially in the midsection here, legs and everything. So, cosmetic-wise, definitely impressed. Now, let's go over some of these accessories uh, because, yeah, it's a lot of accessories to keep up with. Um, he comes with a series load of hands uh, for different positions. Some of them uh, are for specific things, which we'll get into. Secondly, he comes with his uh, alternative mask, which uh, is more in style with the Mortal Kombat 1 Sub-Zero. And you can easily just pop that out or pop in. And then, of course, he has already on his MK2 mask. So he comes with that as well. Then it comes with his Ice Effects, the star number one with his uh, signature foot slide effect you can just pose them and then you can just position that on his foot then this one is where it gets a little more tricky he has this shooting ice effect and there is one hand uh specifically designed for using that you can just pop that in and then put it in place and then you can position him it's a little tricky with it but take a little time and patience and you can get it positioned just right also, the instruction book I forgot to mention, it comes with, which goes into more detail on some of these hands that will work with some of these effects. Then he also comes with the spine and skull. And also, you can change out the skull. So if you have the Storm Collectible Scorpion as well, you can uh, pop that head out and you can pose that in if you want to do a battle scene or a display with Sub-Zero and Scorpion. So you got that. So those are a few of the accessories. Uh, uh, they're definitely plenty. And it's always good when you can get figures with lots of accessories to help the collecting experience. So let's go ahead and get into the measurements here. If we measure Sub-Zero, he stands just a little over six and a half inches. Now they've done real good with the wardrobe design things. Um, sometimes that can interfere with articulation a little bit. That doesn't seem to be the case here. They did a real good job, Storm Collectibles, with making sure you still can pose this figure. And it, it, there's a lot of poses you can do with him. But let's go ahead and go over the articulation. Start at his head here. You can turn him to his left, which is your right. You can turn him to his right, which is your left. Full spin around, exorcist style. It's got a little forward tilt. It's got a little range going back. It's some little giveaway. It does come back a little bit. Start his bicep. Full extension, 90 degrees. And up. Uh, so, yeah, be careful with this uh, this figure right here. Mine specifically. I'm not sure if it's across the board. Some of the 
pegs keep popping out a little bit and just be careful with that they just snap back in so nothing to worry about but as you can see you can do a full 360 rotation going forward his uh, gi doesn't interfere that much with it bicep swivel double jointed elbow get here at the wrist swivel it's got a full turn the wrist on the peg it's a double swivel actually you can swivel at the back end and then the front end where you attach the hand has a downward tilt and he has a little range of upward tilt boy this bicep here I'm going to talk about that ah live TV folks live TV anyway let's get to his midsection it's got a nice Little range going as an ab crunch forward. Has a nice range going backwards. Does he have hip swivel? He doesn't really have hip swivel. It's pretty much the, the pelvic section is kind of molded in with the mid section. So he has a little turn range from side to side, not a full rotation. Leg here, ball swivel. As you can see, a nice extension going sideways. Almost, this is 90 degrees, so he's over 90 degrees there. Going forward, nice range going forward. Backwards as well. Does have swivel at the thigh, upward part of you see underneath there. Double joints at the knee. Get down, he does have ankle rotation. You can tilt a little bit, pivot around. Then he has a little articulation at the toe. Pretty much like the Scorpion figure, definitely impressed with the 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 design here, the look, uh, definitely the paint detail. Especially down here, his knee pads and stuff. They did real good with the washing effect. Give it a little weathered look. Um, definitely like the accessories. Comes with a nice range of accessories. So that's always good. Now, uh, this is probably just more specific to my figure. Uh, I know, uh, as you can see, when I was doing the articulation, uh, some of the pieces kept popping out of their, their peg inserts. Um, of course, they snap right back in. But, you know, that's, 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 that's something you kind of want to try to keep avoiding every time you want to repose your figure or display them. Which, if you're not going to do it that often, it's not going to be that much of a big deal. But, um, you know, if you want to do like some stop motion stuff or something, I could see how that could be real frustrating. So it's just one of my gripes. But uh, everything else, pretty much, I have no complaints. So before I wrap this up, let me go ahead and give you a quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison. As you can see over here on your left side, this is the Storm Collectibles Scorpion figure, which I've reviewed already. Make sure you check that out. Um, and then we have the Sub-Zero on the left. So as you can see, they're both pretty much same design. Only difference is the change in color of the wardrobe. So if you haven't seen them together, I want to go ahead and give you a nice little quick look at that and see how they both look together. That wraps up the review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As I just shown, I had them with the Storm Collectible Scorpion as well. So I'm definitely going to say, if you have that figure, you definitely need to get in on this one. Um, as I mentioned with the Scorpion one, this is probably one of the best Sub-Zero figures that I've actually seen on the market, period, hands down. So, and I've seen a few Sub-Zero figures uh, that's come out over the time. So I definitely give this one, you know, five star rating or whatever you want to call it. I definitely want to get on on this uh good detail lots of accessories to work with and you know uh now i'm just waiting for storm collectors to get with it and drop that goro and shao khan because i uh, i've been waiting for that for a minute i keep seeing the prototypes i don't know what's going on i know they got a reptile coming up as well which is basically just going to be a remold and repaint of the sub-zero and scorpion but you know for you diehards you'll probably be looking forward to that as well now, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Hopefully it was helpful. As I mentioned, you know, I had a little issue with the pegs, the some of the arm popping out the peg and stuff. 
uh, of course, we just could snap that right back in. Uh, now, that was just my figure. Uh, you may have better luck. So, you know, I, I'm not going to hold that as a generalized, um, but I did want to point that out. Anyway, like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think. If you have the figure as well, you let me know what you think about it, especially if you have some of the issues with, you know, keeping things not popping out. If you want social media, you can follow me on Instagram at SB Toys. That's my other form of social media I'm mostly on. But anyway, hopefully the little review was helpful for you. I'll catch you later. This your boy SB. Y'all be easy. I'm out.